Hi, my name is Vicki. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through advanced masking using the hardness and opacity tools. In the Getting Started with Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS tutorial video, we taught you how to create a Cinemagraph composed in a way that you can see a separation between subjects. Now let's dive a little deeper. Sometimes you'll record a video which doesn't show a clear separation between subjects. In these scenarios, motion is often overlapping in the foreground and background, making certain subjects harder to mask. For this example, I've recorded a video with Dan posing in front of a fountain. As you can see, there are some problem areas where the water motion is overlapping with the other moving subjects. Dan is standing still, but he is slightly swaying his body. The motion of the flags and plants are also slightly overlapping with the motion of the fountain. I'm going to show you how to use the hardness and opacity tools to blend these areas together. First, I'm going to paint a mask on the fountain. Then I'm going to decrease the size, hardness, and opacity of my brush to blend them together. This can take some experimentation before creating the perfect mask for your cinemagraph. There, now we have a perfect cinemagraph. Remember that in order to successfully blend motion occurring in the foreground and background of your cinemagraph, the motion must be subtle. I'll show you the difference. For this next example, I've recorded a video with Dan jumping in front of the fountain. Let's say I want the water to move while Dan is in the air mid-jump. Because the overlapping motion isn't subtle like in the previous example, you won't be able to create a successful cinemagraph with this concept. If your cinemagraph features a model like these examples did, make sure they remain completely still while recording. If you do want your cinemagraph to feature someone jumping, there's another way you can achieve this. Check out the Capturing Independent Stills and Video tutorial to learn more. See you next time!